What's up guys, Jamie here, welcome to another charity shop haul. I meant to do this like four days ago, but didn't because I'm lazy. But nonetheless, I got a shirt, I got another figure, I got a CD, and I got a book. I didn't get any DVDs this time. I was supposed to only keep it at £2, but I ended up with £7, so yeah. I don't know, but anyway, let's get into it. Um, There's literally not much here, as I said. There's just a shirt. A CD, a figure, and a book. That's it. Um, but all the stuff is here, so I'm just going to show it off. I'm going to show off the uh, shirt last, actually. Actually, I'm going to show it off first, because I've just looked at it. You might be able to see it over here. Um, it is the Euro 2008 Spain Home Shirt. Um, yeah, I saw this for £5, and I was like, I need to have this, because I love this shirt. I've worn an... I bought it, and I've already worn it like three times since Friday. I bought it as soon as I got home on Friday, I changed into it. It's so comfortable to wear nothing on the back. But, yeah, it's in, I mean, look at the condition this is in. Five pounds in a charity shop, look how good condition this is in. And this came out, and this shirt came out like ten years ago. Seriously, love this shirt. It takes me back to when, it makes me think of Tor, when I see this, I just think Tor is in the year of 2008 final. And I also think Xavi and Iniesta and Boyle and that Spain team. And Ramos as well. Ah, <sighs> Ramos. One day Ramos is going to get his comeuppance. One day someone is going to knock some sense into him. Anyway, um, the action figure I bought was um, one of these like old like WWF Titan Live figures. If you don't know what they are. They're basically, there's like this Titantron set and they have this chip on their foot. Um, I'll just try and show it here without spoiling who the figure is. But um, yeah, that chip on their foot, uh, you put that on the um, metal thing on the set and it plays the theme song. And the figure I got was uh, Kurt Angle. Yeah, I think I actually have this, but I saw this for like £5 and I was like, no, well not £5, like one fifty, and I was like, yeah, why not? May as well. I do like buying action figures, so... Yeah, well, not action figures. Like, wrestling action figures, but that's about it. Um, But yeah, Kurt Angle. With hair. That's how you t that's how you know something's old. When That's how you know a Kurt Angle figure is old. When it has hair. Seriously, and yeah, that little chip. Yeah, it plays their theme song. As you can see in the bottom here. I don't know if that's going to focus, but... I don't know if you can see that. Is it going to focus now? Come on, focus. No, oh, it says, um, 1999. Yeah, 1999. This thing is old. So, yeah, Kurt Angle. It does seem worth 3 minutes 16 seconds. If you know what I mean. And, yeah, that uh, adds to my collection of, uh, Kurt Angle... Chavo Guerrero, and yeah, the Kurt Angle came with that elbow pad. I just threw it on Chavo. Um, Kane, yeah, loose arm. Uh, unmasked Kane. Edge, uh, which is probably my favourite one. I, let, I just, I like the tights, and, the, and that head scan is like on basically every Edge figure. But yeah, pretty cool Edge. And the only Mattel figure I have, well, that's not in the attic, is uh, Seth Rollins. Yeah, I actually like this Seth. By the way, I didn't get the rest of these in the charity shop. Well, I did. I got these three in the charity shop. I've thrown, thrown these off in the charity shop. I got this in Smith's. Um, yeah, I think I got these in the charity shop in uh, Abbott's Cross. Um, in, which is near my old college. It's also near the hospital as well. And there's a charity shop in there. I bought these. Anyway, we're off track. Um... But yeah, I did get that Kurt Angle in the new charity shop that's just opened, like, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's a big one as well. But anyway, we're off topic. Back on track. Um, the book I got was in the Percy Jackson series. And I think it's, like, the second last one in the series. So I'll have to wait to read it until I get the other ones. But it is Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. Yeah, I like this cover. It's, like, a holographic style cover. Different on the back, but, um, yeah, that holographic style cover is really nice, and that's going to look great on the shelf. 
Well, when I get a shelf, that is. And yeah, there's the order of the other books. For If anyone's read Percy Jackson, please let me know if they're any good or not, because apparently it is pretty good. And it's supposed to be something like, if you like Harry Potter, then you'll like this, but I don't know. I'm still reading The Hunger Games, uh, Mark and Jay. I'm halfway through this. I have a match tomorrow, so I need to read this. I need to read this a bit tonight. Then I have a match tomorrow. While Liverpool are playing PSG. Well, not PSG. Napoli. Liverpool are playing at the same time, so I'm going to miss that. I'm going to have to record that. But yeah, I'm still reading this. It's great, by the way. If you haven't read the Hunger Games books, highly recommend them. After I read those, I'm going to watch the movies. Because apparently the movies are very good as well. Uh, but finally, the CD I got said parental advisory explicit content on there. It is um, Richard Ashcroft, Keys to the World. Um, I think he was on Soccer AM, not last week, but the week before. He was on Soccer AM. I heard one of his songs and I was like, it's a good song. But like, I, I remember like, I remember like, I heard his name and I'm like, is that the guy that Liam Gallagher talks about? Because that name sounded familiar when I seen him. Or when I heard it. Because it was like, is that the guy Liam Gallagher talks about? And then I was like, yeah it is. So I saw this. I was literally about to pay and I saw this and I was like, oh, snag it before someone else does. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Because if Liam Gallagher likes him, then he must be good. Anyway, that is my charity shop haul done. Just for the record, we got the recap. We got that Spian shirt, if you can just about see that. Um, a Kurt Angle figure, a Richard Ashcroft CD, um, I like this cover as well, that cover is like just him walking in the street with his head down. Um, and we also got Percy Jackson the Last, and, and The Last Olympian. I, th I think I actually saw The Lightning Thief in the cinema once, but I haven't read the book yet. I'm, I'll probably get around to reading the books at some point. Um... But yeah, that's my charity shop all done, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next Spyro episode. So yeah, I'm off to read. I probably won't be recording tomorrow. As you know, I, I have a match tomorrow against... Uh, well, it's my church against another church. It's at Seaview. It's being played at Seaview, so it's in a stadium, but there's going to be no crowd there. And there is... It's literally just a friendly match at an empty stadium. Last time we were there, I think, was 2016. I scored two penalties last time we played against them. And we came back from 3-0 down to win 4-3. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.